Over the years, it's become a pretty simple concept. When you choose to become a central Red Devil, you become a target for everybody else. Now that doesn't mean a target for high schools just in Alabama. Central has become a national attraction. This season, Central's schedule includes Pinson Valley, Lutheran North from St. Louis, and the highly touted IMG Academy, a Division I football player factory. Now the national stage can be intimidating, but Central has another way to describe it. So for us, um, having two out-of-state teams to play this year, a lot of fun. You know, a team from Missouri that you know not many people know about, and then you've got you know IMG that everybody knows about, and so um, so a lot of fun though. A lot of fun to be able to play those type of teams and that kind of competition. Um, you know, to where you are more of a national you know scene now and on a more of a national level of people throughout the country checking your score, seeing what you did, you know, those kind of things. And we do, we, we enjoy it, we appreciate it. There's a lot of, lot that comes along with that. You've got to earn it, you've got to go out and continue to battle and, you know, and continue to, to do all those little things that you have to do to stay on top. When you're part of this team, the only choice is to stand up and embrace all the challenges that come your way. There's always people trying to beat us because, you know, we've, we've been pretty successful. He's going for daylight. Uh, over the years, as far as in the region, so it's, it's always a target on our back. And so we try to teach our kids that uh, it's just a standard around here, knowing that every week, you know, you got to put on your best every day because uh, they're going to come at you when the season comes. We didn't care who it was. It could, it could have been Thompson. It could have been Hoover. It could have been Warner Robbins. I, you know, we didn't really care. If, you know, all we knew is if you stepped on that field, and you're over there high-fiving and, and like it's some kind of field trip, you're gonna, you're gonna find out. And you know, and that's just all it was about. I mean, it was an intense environment and you know, mess around and find out. Incoming! In fact, some players are already excited to put their skills to the test against some of the best in the nation. Well, we didn't get to play IMG last year. That game kind of fell through, but this year we're going to get them, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's going to be a big time matchup. Hopefully, it's going to be broadcasted somewhere. You know, I've been looking forward to it because that's the best of the best. They're always in the top five of the rankings, so it's going to be a fun matchup. I'm really looking forward to that. The Red Devils don't shy away from tough competition when they're the home team. times they love being the bad guy when they visit their rivals. Being able to play at Auburn last year was really fun. You know, their crowd was ginormous. Their band was huge. It was playing loud. It's hard to hear everything, but you know, it was fun just because you're in a crazy environment like that and you get to perform and go play a game that we all love. So why are they so confident? Well, according to the players, they're already facing incredible talent in practice. We're sitting here practicing against guys that are as good or, or better than all of our competition, in my opinion. So, you know, all, all these guys are, you know, four and five star uh, recruits that we're playing against. You know, we practice against those guys every day, just repetitively. So, um, in my opinion, like, that helps out a lot with the whole team, knowing that we've got guys just as good or better than some of the guys we play and we're going against them every day, so we're prepared. Now, I don't really get nervous. You know, I trust in my abilities, I trust in the Lord, and you know, he'll do everything for me. I can just go out there and perform. The plan is already set, so I can't really control anything else other than what I can control. All right, finish strong right here. Who's gonna win it? When you watch Patrick and how he organizes practice, not only Patrick, but the staff that he's put together, he's got incredible assistant coaches that work extremely hard. And when you go watch some practice, you say, that guy can come off of this practice field and go to a college practice, and it's not gonna shock him. It's not going to take him a year to get used to that. So I, I think that's very important when, when a guy has a chance to go to the next level. Now, even with that right aggressive attitude and all the preseason hype, if the Red Devils want to make history, it comes down to staying focused. Just tell, I just told the guys that we can go back and do something that the team never really done. We can go back and win two state championships if we all just pour in and just come together and love each other. History is on the line for this group of Red Devils, but it would be easy for them to be complacent. Why not rest on your accomplishments? 
Head coach Nix made it very clear that finding ways to keep them hungry is a top priority. I think you find an uncomfortability is the most important thing that we do. Go! You know, it, but, but when then we learn to be comfortable with the uncomfortable, and I know it's, it's a popular phrase that people say, but but it's true. Um, you got to learn how to handle failure. You got to learn how to, to how to handle things that are not ideal, because um, that's the way life is. Not just football. That's the way life is. Life is is unfair sometimes and very difficult sometimes. And um, you got to learn how to handle the difficult. You got to learn how to handle those things and and respond in the right way. Not just react and and be emotional over things, but be able to respond to them and and handle them in the right way. Um, and so the more we can make our guys uncomfortable, the more. Um, the failure opportunities that we can give them, the more we're going to grow and the more we're going to be able to handle those things down the road. Outside expectations for this team is another state championship. However, there's a different mindset on Central's campus. Winning is important, sure, but Coach Nix made it clear that he wants his team to reach for another standard, and it's not a high score or even a trophy. End of the day, the ultimate goal, once again, is, is simple, to be the best we can be. And, and if, once, if that's not good enough to win every game, then it's not good enough. But um, if we're the best that we can be, then, then that's plenty good enough for everybody. You know, we'll be, and we'll be in this community, we'll be for us as coaches, we'll be for the players if we reach that potential and we truly are our best.